Glaucoma is a process where you get damage to the optic nerve, typically due to high pressure in the eye, that do, over time can cause the loss of the peripheral vision. And this eventually can cause the vision to come completely in to where people go blind centrally as well. Glaucoma has an interesting nickname and the nickname is that it is called the silent thief of vision and the reason we call, call it the silent thief of vision is because typically patients are not going to have any symptoms with glaucoma. So there's no pain involved and when you lose your peripheral vision it's such a slow process that typically you don't even realize it's occurring until it's almost too late. The most common cause of glaucoma is not known yet. We do not know why patients develop glaucoma uh, in the majority of the cases. There's no identifiable cause. Typically you can find somebody in the family where there's a genetic component to it. Uh, and what the process occurs is, is the pressure in the eye becomes so high that it puts pressure on the optic nerve in the back of the eye that leads to damage that causes peripheral vision loss. So for most cases we don't know why. There are several identifiable causes such as bad diabetes, trauma, uh, very dense cataracts, and then several other genetic components that, with, that we know systemically that can cause it. But for most patients, there is no identifiable cause. Patients at risk for glaucoma, anyone that above the age of 50 uh, the incidence goes up exponentially. So we recommend eye exams once a year for all patients above the age of 50. Uh, African Americans are at a slightly increased risk of getting open angle glaucoma. Uh, these patients are at, at about a seven time increased risk compared to Caucasians. Other uh, patients would be uh, Inuits or Eskimos can get narrow angle glaucoma, which is a little different than the open angle. And so those patients should be aware that they should be getting eye exams once a year as well. The way we diagnose glaucoma is typically with an exam, a dilated eye exam, and also with several testings. We have a visual field machine that checks your peripheral vision. And we also have a machine called an OCT that scans the optic nerve to check the thickness in, of the tissue. It's analogous to having an MRI of your eyeball. Uh, and so, in, again, in conjunction with an eye exam where we examine the optic nerve and we check the eye pressures, the testing with the visual field and the OCT help confirm the diagnosis of glaucoma. There's several different treatments for glaucoma. Uh, the, the, typically the first line treatment is eye drops. And these eye drops, there's about four different classes of medications that we have available for glaucoma. And these eye drops help lower the pressure in the eye. And by lowering the pressure in the eye, you reduce the stress put on the optic nerve, uh, which prevents further damage from occurring. The second way to treat patients is occasionally patients need a surgery done and there's two different types of surgeries. There's laser surgeries and then there's also surgery where we use blades to create alternate drainage paths in the eye and so those two surgical techniques can help lower the pressure as well and those are typically reserved for patients who can't tolerate eye drops or the eye drops no longer work for them. Glaucoma diagnosed early is quite treatable and we can prevent most patients from losing any further vision. So that's why it's important to get an eye exam when we hit the age of 50 and once a year because it is preventable. Uh, while there is no cure, the medications and the technology that we have in the 21st century again prevent most patients from losing any significant amount of vision. So in choosing a physician who can treat glaucoma and do the correct things for your, you and your eye, there's several things you want to look for. At least once a year and at your initial exam, you should be having a dilated exam because that's the only real way to get a good view of the optic nerve to check the health of it. 
other things, you should be getting a visual field test at least once a year and sometimes more frequently if things are changing. And they should have the latest technology and scanning the optic nerve, which is the new generation OCTs or optical coherence tomography. If they don't have an OCT that's within several years of being made, it's not up to date and, and it's not standard of care.